Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanios here. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through how I upload my YouTube videos. It's a pretty simple process overall. It takes me, you know, between 5 and 10 minutes to kind of lay out my whole video, get it all set up, and then just let it sit and upload. You know, it usually takes between 15 minutes and an hour to upload a video, but uh, I'm going to take you guys through the walkthrough, so I'll just split over to this other screen here. You guys can now see uh, my screen that I am on, I am looking at, and um, yeah, I'm going through an upload right here. You guys can see it's actually, um, I believe this video, this video will be out before the one I'm recording right here, but um, I'm going to be going through showing you guys how um, I upload these videos and yeah, just things like that. So let's see, I have already written out some slightly more detailed stuff on the video. So I'm going to copy and paste that later, but I'm, for now I'm going to select all of this, delete it all so you guys can see what my actual process is for uploading. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I will show you how I kind of get things done here with my tags and everything, but as you can see it won't let you upload a video unless you have actually entered a title to start. So this is how I run my process on my channel here. So. The first thing you are going to want to do is go and actually pick out a some kind of Word file device. So either Microsoft Word, uh, WordPad's a free app you can get on Windows, and uh, Notes I believe for Apple would work as well. Um, but you can use any of these applications to actually um, type in and kind of make a template for your uploads. So as you can see I'm doing a series here. Um, and I find this is one of the most consistent ways to keep my uploads uh, similar and relevant. So as you can see, we're doing, you can see in the corner here, it says Tigers Episode 7. So we're doing my NHL 20 Tigers series. And as you can see, it pulls up an entire Word file here that actually has a template built already. I've typed this out. It's copywriting. It's set for how my, uh, how my, video is going to go. So I'm literally just using control C to copy and paste all of these things. First thing first, I'm going to paste in those two actual like pieces of information that are relevant to my video here, but normally I would just go in and you can see where it says in and we also, I would just type personal kind of or video related pieces into that, whether it's in this video we simulate through the series or we go into the entry draft and we also like stuff like that. So that's how I kind of do those. But first things first, we got to do a title. Um, the other thing I've noticed is if you go one too many like copy or spaces over, it won't let you paste the title in. So you have to be exact. So I believe I was naming this upload Young Studs. And you know, I always add an exclamation mark just to add to the hype of the video or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, but that's the title I'm putting for this uh, franchise mode here for this episode and then we go over and we copy and paste this is the easiest part of the video is copying and pasting the entire piece or section here um, so you just go copy like control C again oh that's my video editor sorry you go control C and then I'm actually gonna paste it all in right at the top here as you can see um, so greetings everyone you know we got all the kind of personal stuff for the video um, I like to space these out a little more as you can see just so that it you know adds to the uh, character count of the video there we're at 910 but it's gonna be less because I'm gonna change a couple things also if you guys are wondering what these little hashtags are here on the video um, these are the tags that help you with hashtag related searches in YouTube. So obviously you can see those are very specific. NHL 20 franchise mode, Hamilton Tigers, and then Hamilton franchise mode. Those three help you direct towards my videos and my content that I'm releasing on YouTube. So there's a quick tip. And um, 
you know what, I'm going to use this guy's channel here. Quick shout out to this guy here. Uh, what's his name? Three thumbs up. I've been watching his stuff for a long time. He, I watched him grow from like 10 to, or 15 subscribers all the way up to 121 now. So if you like NHL content and franchise mode, make sure you go check out his channel. But as you can see, he is also doing this hashtag stuff here. You can see it there in the top of his video. Totally worth it to do that. Adds to uh, the traffic directed towards your videos. So anyways, I'm just going to go and quickly kind of copy and paste these little uh, these little blurbs into my video details, but it makes it way easier for you to upload videos quickly like this. So to just build out an entire, oh no, that's not what I wanted, to build out an entire detailed uh, description of your video. So there you go, now that's all ready. I can just delete everything from this point on and there we go so then the next thing I mean I usually do my thumbnail last unless I've already pre created one but I go here um, gonna make sure I select the correct playlist so the Tigers franchise mode I clicked yes it's made for kids because obviously there's no swearing or graphic content or anything like that if it's not made for kids obviously select the other one and then here is kind of my biggest trick to uploading a video is I pull up my WordPad here. I like to put WordPad directly beside um, my Chrome or my uploading device here. And then you can just go like this. You can triple click or you can see how the arrow kind of switches um, its angle. So it switches from this kind of arrow to that kind of arrow like that. And then uh, you can just select it. You go control copy, go down to Chrome, go control paste, and then it'll paste in all your video description or video tags here and this is by far what I have found the easiest and quickest way to actually upload a video with multiple tags uh, that doesn't require a whole bunch of typing or a whole bunch of work more than once so as you can see I'm just kinda quickly going through copying and pasting all these tags in and you know you just go tag by tag make sure you have a lot of tags so every single thing that gets search related there goes straight to your video or brings your video up in the search results somewhere so you can see I literally have four different tags just for my channel Etanios, Etanios NHL 20, Etanios Hockey and just Etanios NHL because that is what my channel is about obviously I find like comment subscribe and notifications are also very useful tags to use uh, when you are going through this process and there as you can see we've got like almost 20 tags now on the video the other thing that's very good to do is go in and actually if you are playing a game like I am in this video to go and select the title also you have to make sure watch when I type NHL you have to wait for this list to come up otherwise it doesn't actually select the correct video game so now we are done all the video details and as you can see it looks fairly actually we're not quite we're almost done so I pulled up a template here that I created a little while ago for my Hamilton Tigers series what you can do is you once you've created all this image in, in um, if you want me to make a video on photo P please go down below and comment right now or actually I'll leave a tag just up in this top corner of the video somewhere that lets you actually see um, see what or how to do this if you want me to make a video on how to create photo or photo P um, images it's quite simple it just takes a little bit of effort so you can save these as a PSD which is a photo P saved uh, I can't remember exactly what it stands for it's like a it's its project in photo P so it saves all your layers it doesn't just make them one so now I'm gonna go in and because I have done this already my text I'll change to episode 7 and then I have a another file in here it's all of my uh, images and in my pictures I have screenshots if you guys don't know how to take a screenshot on your video it's just this little device here in the bottom corner called a snipping tool you can search it right here in your bar snipping I can't spell snipping tool and it's an app that you know lets you cut out screenshots and do really simple things like that but I do have Tiger episode 7 that I named there it's gonna go in here I'm gonna take this screenshot check it off like that uh, just rasterize it quickly and then 
go into a bunch of blurring on the player potentials here. So as you can see, the more I kind of blur over this, the better or the more difficult it is to see, which is, you know, what you want. Especially if your viewers are trying to check out your thumbnails and try to just get the gist of the video from out, like, without actually watching it. Uh, you definitely want to make a little bit of your thumbnail intriguing or clickbait worthy, I guess. I'm not saying use total clickbait, but just blurring images slightly is a very good way to add on to the effect. Obviously, you can make this uh, a little bit bigger if you want, and then, you know, your blur area is a little bigger. But, you know, it doesn't take all that much effort. You can blur out images pretty easily make it a little bit more enticing for someone to watch that video. They can't exactly tell what the potential is. And then I'm going to rename it by double clicking up on the top corner of the title of this project and change it from Tiger's template to Tiger's number seven. And then save this, export it as a JPEG image, make sure it's 100% quality, and then save that. And I'll go find it in my downloads. Obviously, that's where it would be, uh, somewhere in here. Tigers episode 7, drag it and drop it over into, I have a whole bunch of files, NHL 20, Tigers franchise mode, thumbnails, and then as you can see it shows up there, then we go back over to upload a thumbnail, and when I actually pull it from my Tigers thumbnails, it's right there, and it goes onto that thumbnail screen. So that is pretty much it for details. And then, well, then you get to your video elements, which you can't do until your video is completely uploaded. Um, maybe not published necessarily, but uploaded. So this video, obviously, I'm a little late on publishing, so I'm going to click publish now. I'll put in the end screen and everything once it's uploaded. But that is how to upload a video. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like on the video, and uh, commenting for sure if you want to see me doing some photo pee tutorials or things like that that help you guys out with your video and content creating but that is going to be it for me this is Etanios signing out and see ya